I was at school one day chatting with my friends at lunch, and as we were chatting, there was a girl there that caught my eye. She was a bit of a homely looking girl, but she looked absolutely ravaging to me. I continued on with the school year, but as days went by, I became increasingly infatuated with her. During the last week of school, I approached her and asked for her cell phone number. She accepted and then put her number onto my contacts list and winked at me. I was so excited, I could barely stop myself from texting her the day after. I held myself back though and waited a couple of days before sending her a message so I didn't seem clingy or anything. We had begun texting back and forth, talking about what we were each doing for the summer, how our year was, some information about each other, etc. I had been getting up the urge to ask her out, but before I could, she asked me herself if we could meet up sometime. I happily obliged and we began talking about times and where we could meet up. I wasn't good with planning things, so I let her do most of the deciding. She had wanted me to come over to her house to hang out and have a barbecue with her parents. It sounded awesome, so I obviously accepted. She gave me her address and I was going to head over there the next weekend. It wasn't that far away, so with my new driver's permit, driving over there would be quite easy. She began to be a bit more personal with me after the next few days, and I will admit, we talked about some nasty things. Pictures were placed, and it was incredibly fun. We didn't show pictures of our faces for privacy reasons, but all the same, it was incredibly amazing. But Friday, the day before I was supposed to meet up with her, we ran into each other at the local grocery store. I uttered her name, but she seemed bewildered. She told me that wasn't her name and then continued to ask me why I have not texted her. I was confused and told her we've been texting for a few weeks now. Her look on her face obviously disagreed with me, but I showed her some of the text and the phone number. She told me she accidentally got two of the digits mixed up and we had not been talking at all. I got her actual number and exited the store in horror. I did not arrive Saturday and got multiple texts from the stranger asking where I was, what I was doing, but I just ignored them and blocked their number. Thinking back, they never gave much detail about their family, school, or any relative information at all. After a few weeks, my family and I were watching television. Flipping through the channels, we found a man being arrested for murder, CP, and assault at the same address I was given. Showing his face on the screen, the man I was talking with, the man I sent those pictures to, the man I was going to see, right there in my face.